Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this retro text effect in Adobe Illustrator using more and more but appearance panel. And uh, as you can see it's also applied to the source code variable, to the famous variable font that were introduced in CC18, so you can change the weight of this font to create a dozens of variation for your posters and advertisement stylish retro advertisements so let's start with a new document control and a command n on your mac to bring up a new document panel i'm working with the 1920 by 1080 canvas please create and first of all i want to increase the uh, panel layer pane uh, for my document just to see what is going on on my last panel. I'm gonna be working with the appearance panel. So go to the Windows appearance, uh, click Shift F6. Um, I'm gonna undock it to focus on it more clearly. And first of all, let's grab the type tool and set a text. I'm typing pencil on all capitals. I'm okay with the 420 points font uh, size and I need to head over to the source code variable regular and boost the weight to around 620 like this. Okay, I am okay with my uh, text and let's start by creating a new field so head over to the bottom left of the appearance panel this icon add a new field and then bring up the color picker in the hexadecimal value of color picker set the do7145 click ok to introduce a new color to your field and then create a new stroke uh, click on this icon on the bottom left add a new stroke move it to the bottom make sure that you select it and head over to color pick again double click to bring up the color picker and set the e5 ca a6 color to your stroke click ok let's boost the stroke weight to 5 points and head over to the effects distort and transform transform we are going to shift it to the top left so we're gonna work with the negative values on our move val uh, panel so uh, head over to the first move horizontal and set a negative 2 pixels head over to there and set negative 3 pixels check preview click OK. Create a new stroke. Put it below the previous one. Uh, with this stroke, head over to color picker and right now set 43 to be 17. Click OK to apply the changes. Boost the stroke weight to 22 points. Click enter to introduce a new stroke weight and head over again to effect transform. Now we are going to be uh, creating the extrusion and in order to do this I need to work with the very tiny numbers of our move field. So I'm gonna set the extrusion move uh, horizontal move value to or 0.25 pixels and vertical value to all 0.25 pixels check preview it is no surprise that we didn't see any changes because that because the values are very tiny but now let's set a uh, copies so head over to the copies field and type 88 and see what happens right now you see you achieve the extrusion and by setting up the number of copies you can control the extrusion depth so you see I can reduce the number of copy and reduce the extrusion de depth 
So I'm working with the 88, I'm okay with that. Click OK to apply these changes and create a new field a stroke again. I'm sorry. Uh, with this stroke, put it again below, head over to the color picker and change the color C7 B299. Click OK to apply the changes. Again, don't forget that you can just go to the vtorial.net and download this text effect for absolutely free. Okay, uh, let's uh, proceed with our effect. So keep selected the stroke and head over again to effect transform. This time don't change anything in the move fields, just head over to the copies and set a number of copies to 158. 158. Click OK. This will be our shadow. And this is guys how you can create a retro life effect here in Adobe Illustrator. Of course, since we apply it to the sounds variable code, to the variable typeface, you can play with this weight and create dozens dozens texts for your artworks. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, give us some button, subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends. Don't forget to visit tutorials.net and download this text effect for absolutely free and take a look on more Adobe Illustrator and graphic design tutorials. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.